Okay then, guys. Welcome and good evening. And um, well, basically, welcome to our colleague Gwent Hospitality and Catering Live Online Open Event this evening. Um, please be aware that um, that your microphone is muted at this time, and we will only be able to answer questions that you type into the question and answer section on the side of the screen. So feel free to um, pop a hello in there and uh, maybe introduce yourself. And if you've got any questions, then use that tab to ask away. Um, I'm just going to introduce myself and the team. Uh, so my name is Gavin. Uh, I'm the chef lecturer at College Gwent. And I'm going to introduce the team as we go along here. So um, Lisa, our food and beverage lecturer, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hello everybody, I'm Lisa Jackson. I look after the uh, front of house restaurant uh, service side of the uh, of the courses. Uh, thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you Lisa. And Andrew, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Good evening everyone, I'm Andrew Paul. I'm one of the chef lecturers at Colleague Quaint. Uh, I'm glad you're all here tonight. Thank you Andrew. And Lisa Grenfell, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Good evening, my name is Lisa. I'm one of the chef lecturers. Um, if you have any questions during the event, please don't hesitate to ask in the question and answer box and we'll do our best to reply to you. Lovely, thank you very much guys. And um, I'm just going to pop a question out there to you guys really, out there first. Um, what does hospitality mean to you? So if you'd like to um, give us a little uh, message for you basically sort of say saying what hospitality means to you that would be fantastic and maybe we can um write a few bits back to you this is an opportunity for you to ask us questions basically as well so while you're doing that i know it's going to take a few a few minutes to come back and forth but while you're doing that i'm just going to sort of tell you a little bit about the um qualifications that you can learn with us at colleague Gwent. Uh, up across keys. Um, so we start off at uh, an entry level three um, diploma in hospitality industry skills. And from that uh, program, we can go on to the MBQ in hospitality services. Now these qualifications run um, because they, they are hospitality services. They run with um, front of house, uh, which is the restaurant. So you're taught uh, restaurant skills how to serve customers, take drink orders, um, make drinks and so on. And also as well as cooking in the kitchen. So from basic dishes, um, vegetable prep, a uh, bit about dough and things like that as well. Um, and the next level from that would be our level one uh, VRQ, which is the uh, introduction to professional cookery. And again, that has a mirrored qualification that runs alongside that. That is a food and beverage service at level one. So that means that while you're while you're learning to be um, to be in the kitchen with us cooking, uh, you'll also be learning the skills of working in a in a busy restaurant at the same time. Uh, and at as we go through then for, to level two um, for a diploma in professional cookery, um, you're also doing a level two certificate in professional food and beverage service. So you're working basically getting two qualifications, one from front of house. And one from the kitchen. And if you're if you're going on and you want to progress on to a level three qualification, um, that is a, an advanced professional cookery qualification, uh, and that is basically just all in the kitchen um, at the moment. Uh, so these are the sort of qualifications that you can learn with us uh, at College Gwent in Cross Keys. Um, a little bit about uh, Cross Keys: uh, we have uh, a restaurant and a kitchen. Uh, and they're both called uh, the Morels. So we have the Morels restaurant, and of course, then the, that runs with the Morels kitchen. Uh, and in our Morels kitchen, you'll work as a team with your fellow students, fellow learners, and you'll be taught a fantastic about a fantastic career in the industry of hospitality. Um, you'll be taught how to prepare and cook meat, fish, poultry, uh, different types of breads and, and pastry products, um, vegetables and salads. Uh, all seasonal um, and you'll be taught different methods of poaching, boiling, grilling, baking, roasting uh, and you'll be taught sweet and savoury sort of pastry dishes as well. Now at this point I'm just going to ask you if there's any questions out there at the moment. 
No questions at, at the moment, Gav. Thank you, Andrew. Um, now I'm going to pass you on to um, Lisa Jackson, who's our front of uh, house uh, food and beverage um, lecturer. Thank you, Gavin. Hi there, everybody. Um, so Morales Restaurant um, is a 40 seater restaurant that is open to the public. Uh, we're open for lunch uh, four days a week and also for occasional dinners. We can be extremely busy, especially at Christmas, where we're almost fully booked. And um, you will find us on TripAdvisor. Uh, we have a certificate of excellence which we've had for the last couple of years. The restaurant itself, um, all of our students uh, who are studying, studying professional cookery courses uh, spend one day a week in the restaurant uh, learning about the customer service side um, of the hospitality industry. Um, there is a specified uniform that you have to wear as well, so that's uh, different to the uniform that you would wear in the kitchen uh, for food preparation. Our restaurant, uh, the way that we work, uh, when you come in for um, your day in the restaurant, you would set up the tables for the lunch service, which generally starts at about quarter past twelve. And um, when the lunch service begins, you will be greeting your customers, you'll be taking orders, serving food and drink, and uh, the menus in the restaurant change weekly. We do two course menus and three course menus. And we also um, carry out a service technique called theatre um, skills, which include things like flambe service, uh, where we cook at the table, um, things like crepe suzettes and steak diet. We have a licensed bar in the restaurant. Uh, we serve wines, beers, cocktails and mocktails. Uh, so you'll get um, experience of learning about the different uh, products that we have and also how to serve the different types of beverages, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. And we also have a barista station in the restaurant where we have our very own espresso machine. Just like if you would go into a coffee shop in the high street, you would learn to make things like cappuccinos, lattes, americanos and um, that gives you a rounded experience of the type of um, services expected in the industry. Back over to you Gavin. Thank you Lisa. So um, we also have a TripAdvisor page. Um, this TripAdvisor page has been running for a, for a while now um, and our, all our customers like to leave um, marks on their reviews on there from their visits to the, to the, the restaurant. Um, and you can have a look at that if you go on the TripAdvisor and pop in Morel's restaurant. Um, all our, our customers have been coming to Morel's for a number of years now and uh, they're regularly returning uh, back and forth with us and uh, booking in for Christmases and special occasions. Um, so what do you think you need to work in the industry? Well, first of all, um, working in the industry, we're teaching you um, all about the cooking side and all about the serving side in the restaurant. So what we expect from people to come into the college basically is with uh, two GCSEs of C grade or above. Um, but if you don't, that's not the end of the world, don't worry, um, because alongside your qualification, you could be uh, studying also um, GCSE maths and English um, they, or they are working towards that. Um, so we can we'll help you gain that qualification. So as well as doing your catering qualification, uh, you would also be working using um, our facilities to study math and English. Now, what we expect from our students um, is to be very enthusiastic uh, and to be a daredevil really and, and try new things. So when there's new food there or something you've never tried before, don't be scared of it. Try it, eat it, taste it, tell us what you think of it. Um, because you'll need to develop your taste um, and your palate uh, as you progress through cooking and also from the house because you'll also be able to tell the customers exactly what it tastes like and how wonderful it tastes and, and sort of the flavours and, and the aromas that you get from, from eating a dish. Uh, and what we'll teach you uh, is great customer service um, and that's not just for front of house, that's not just for the restaurant, that's from the kitchen point of view as well because we're working as a team, we all work together and a great customer service is dealt from from the kitchen as well as the restaurant. The whole um, theatre of the meal uh, is delivered at that point. So all, uh, all aspects, we're teaching you great customer service. 
Um, so how will you gain your qualification? So your qualification um, is basically broken down into different types of tasks. Um, and they range from um, making a dish, maybe bread or soup. Um, and you have to make that dish of maybe one or two portions or, you know, it could be eight red rolls. Uh, and that task will be uh, demonstrated to you in the class. And you'll get a chance to practice that dish and you'll get a, get a week or two to practice that dish until you become um, quite uh, good at, at, at that particular ta uh, dish and you'll gain more confidence with it. And at that point, then we will put a test and you will be tested on that dish. And you'll have a set amount of time to actually cook and serve that dish to um, one of the chef lecturers. And also from the front of the house, uh, you'll get have a task and you'll, you'll have to do that dish or you'll have to make teas and coffees or set up a table or maybe make some drinks or do certain tasks in a, in a certain time limit. And you'll have that time to practice. The test will come around. You'll do the test. And at the end of the test, then you'll get feedback. And you get written feedback and verbal feedback. And the feedback is quite important because it gives you sort of the confidence then to prepare yourself for the next test that comes along. And maybe work on, on your dish dishes or the way that you present yourself or the way that you're presenting the dishes um, for the next task. Now, as well as all of that going on, uh, we are also members of the Chefs Forum Academy. Um, we are we do have academy status. We are academy members, which means that the Chefs Forum, who are linked with education for um, industry and new chefs coming into the industry, and what they do is they they send chefs to us. Um, chefs like James Summerin from um, Penarth, who's a Michelin star chef and Chef Tom Westland, who was on the Great British Menu and other chefs from around the country. And they come to us um, once a week and they deliver masterclasses with our chef, our our, um, our students our, and, our, and our chefs in the kitchen. And they basically um, deliver a dish, you know, they show you a dish on how to um, prepare, cook and serve that dish. And they give you some sort of, um, they share life experiences with you on how, how the industry works and um, it's a fantastic uh, opportunity and we also do events with them so we go out into the industry and we work um, with our students at different restaurants around around um, South Wales um, and we deliver um, functions with them and uh, the students then work with them either in the restaurant or in the kitchen so they have the learning um, dishes in the kitchen and cooking for the function or they're serving um, within that function area as well and a few weeks ago, or a few months ago now, it was we delivered a, um, a function at the Saint Pierre um, in uh, Chepstow uh, for 250 people, I believe it was. And our students worked in the kitchen, and they worked for a house, and they made cocktails and mocktails, uh, and they cooked food, uh, all different sort of canapes for the um, the guests there. And one of our students actually um, got a job there. Uh, after the event, the, the head chef liked to work in so much that he gave it, he offered her jobs, and she's working there now. Um, so it's a great opportunity for for young chefs to get out into the industry. Um, now, at this point of the of this presentation, um, we're going to give you the opportunity to ask us questions. So if you have got any questions, now it's time to write them in there, and um, perhaps we uh, perhaps we can answer them together, or um, you can ask us questions. We can type them back to you if you, if that's what you'd like. So. Has anybody asked us any questions yet, guys? Uh, we had one question from Helen. She oh, fantastic. Had a lot of people interested. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> no new questions, sorry. No new questions at all from anybody else. Okay, so this is the opportunity to ask us any questions if you do want to. Um, so we, we'll probably go a little bit quiet at some point, uh, but this is an opportunity for you to to formally ask us a question if you want us, if you want to know a little bit more about the restaurant or the kitchen, um, or if you just want to ask us about uniforms or costs, then type that into the question area, guys. Um, and we will try and answer that as best as we can. So I'll give you a chance to, to type some things in. We'll go a little bit quiet now while you're typing away and um, the team are here to answer any of your questions. Thank you for listening to us.
we had any questions? No questions as yet. Thank you, Andrew. Hopefully somebody will ask us a question. Don't be shy. Hi, Gav. I think the question of Helen regarding do you have lots of customers, maybe in reference to do we have lots of customers that come into the restaurant? Yes, we do. We have lots of customers coming into the restaurant. And um, Lisa, would you like to tell them all about Christmas? Yes, of course. Thank you, Gavin. Um, yes, the uh, Morales restaurant uh, is a 40 seater restaurant, so um, it's very often fully booked um, at um, lunch times. Uh, we uh, generally um, serve around 30 people, which is nice, which is a nice number for a lunch session. Um, but at Christmas time and for evening functions, uh, we work on a, a capacity of 40 people. Uh, our Christmas function, uh, Christmas lunches are um, almost fully booked. We run every um, every day for four weeks, apart from Monday. So um, obviously Saturdays and Sundays we're not open because we are um, an educational establishment. Um, other than that, um, um, we and um, we also work on the um, on Wednesday evenings as well for for dinner sessions. So um, nice and busy, which means that we have um, lots of experience to gain. So. We have um, lots of um, dishes to prepare in, in the kitchen on um, all different types of, um, of, of dishes, uh, all different types of ingredients, and also all different types of customers to be able to um, uh, improve our customer service skills and of course to um, make sure that we give everybody um, a really fantastic time. So we uh, have um, uh, cocktails and mocktails that uh, students can make, and obviously the teas and coffees as well at the, at, the, at the same time. So we have lots of different skills and experience to be gained um, in the restaurant and in the kitchen. All of the dishes prepared in the kitchen are um, prepared by learners, and all of the um, customers served in the restaurant are served by learners. So uh, tutor support is available for training. Um, but it is a realistic working environment, so you are gaining real life skills. Over to you, Gavin. Thank you, Lisa. So I hope that answers your questions. If you have got any other questions at all, um, feel free to ask us. This is the, the chance that, um, that, you, that you have now. Um, we're going to keep this open for just a few more minutes, uh, and then unfortunately then we have to close the event. But um, hopefully you've taken some of the information that we've given you today and that's sort of given you a bit more of an interest maybe in hospitality and you want to pursue um, a career in, in hospitality either as, you know, as a chef or for front of house. Um, and if that is the case, then we look forward to seeing you in September. But um, Please don't be scared to, to hit us up with a question. You know, that's what we're here for. Um, if you want to know about the uniforms, because uh, there are uniforms to be worn. Uh, we are a professional course. Uh, we deliver uh, to a high standard. Um, that's why we have the TripAdvisor reviews uh, as good as we do, because um, not only is our, our front house service um, to a very high standard, but also the food cooked in the kitchen is to a high standard as well. And we are always try, striving to um, take that service to the next level um, and, and introduce new things uh, within the, um, the menus each year and each month. Um, we use fresh ingredients, um, local, locally sourced, and um, we try to turn them into delicious um, lunchtime treats for our customers. So if they're are any anybody out there that would like to ask us a question then please hit us up with a question no questions at the moment gav okay thank you lisa um i'm gonna leave i'm gonna have to we're gonna have to close this session up now um but like i said uh just now if you um are interested in a, in a um future in hospitality, then we look forward to seeing you in September perhaps. And uh, 
we hope we can turn you into the chefs uh, or the waiters and waitresses that you want to be. Um, so from us to you, I'm going to say thank you very much for taking the time to listen to us. And uh, we hope to see you all in September. Thank you, everybody, and goodbye.